In today's video, we're answering the question, will my car insurance rates go up if I'm convicted of a speeding ticket or any other traffic ticket for that matter, any type of moving violation, unsafe lane change, following too close, criminal speeding, reckless driving, DUI, anything that's gonna go on your motor vehicle record or have points associated on your license, are my insurance rates gonna go up? The answer is almost always yes. The insurance companies, they wanna make money. They think that if you are a higher risk to them, that it's gonna cause them some additional liability. So they're gonna increase your rates. They're gonna get their money out of you because they think that you're high risk. They think that you're gonna cause an accident, you're gonna cause some sort of damage that they're gonna ultimately have to pay for as a result of those points. I can't give you a 100% guarantee of the week, but I can tell you, it's probably gonna go up. There are just simply too many insurance providers, there are too many companies out there, and there's too many factors that they consider when they're gonna determine how to increase or decrease or adjust your rates as a result of a speeding ticket. It's just, there's too many variables. They wanna know how old you are, whether you're male or female, how far you've gone in school. They wanna know how your driving record looks. They wanna know, how much you do X, Y, and Z, basically anything you can think of, the insurance company builds a profile about you and then they're gonna use that to adjust your rates. So it does depend on your record, it does depend on your insurance provider, depends on how long you've been with the company and a number of other different variables. So if you're gonna be presuming that your rates are gonna go up, let's say that you've already gotten convicted of an offense or you're worried about getting convicted of an offense, Couple things that you wanna consider. Number one, how often does your insurance company actually check your records? I don't know, I can't speak to that. Some it's every six months, some it's longer than that, some of them don't tell us. So I don't know what the answer is for your particular provider. If you have a good relationship with your agent, this may be something that you can ask him or her about to see if you can get some insight onto that because what sometimes people can do is just wait and hopefully the points will fall off before your insurance provider sees them. But that depends on a case by case basis. So contact your insurance agent rep if you have a good one. Otherwise, you may just wanna play the wait and see game. Now, if it's too late, if you've already been convicted of a speeding offense or a moving violation and you're concerned about your insurance rates, there are a couple things that you wanna consider. Number one, is there anything that you can do to lower the rates? So for example, let's say you have a good driver discount or something like that. As Soon as they know that you got a ticket, you're gonna lose that discount. You're gonna lose that new, that good driver uh, discount that they put on there because you're no longer considered a good driver anymore. But in some insurance companies with some providers, they may allow you to earn that back or to go do something to mitigate the increase in cost. So let's say for example, you're in this situation. You get a traffic ticket, you go and you take driving school for it. So that disappears, it never shows up on your record. You get another traffic ticket six months later. That means you're not eligible to go take driving school again. So you have to decide what you wanna do. Do you wanna pay it? Say you, you say you pay it, you don't wanna hire our firm to fight it for you, you just say, I'm just gonna go pay it, so you do that. Then those points go on your record. Now, you're not eligible to go take driving school, as I said, but you may be able to do something similar for your insurance provider. So you call your insurance provider, they may have an option for what's called a forgiveness program. So they'll say, look, as long as you go take a defensive driving school course that we approve, that we send you to, we're not gonna increase your rates because we're gonna forgive that. You may have seen some of the commercials on the, on the TV and on the internet, where it's, it's accident forgiveness or some, one of those programs. Typically those require you to go do something else. So in lieu of an insurance rate increase, maybe there's something you can do to mitigate the increase. There may be something that your insurance company offers so that you can save that little bit of money, unfortunately, if you have a conviction on your record. Now, my school of thought, let's avoid getting a conviction in general. Try to avoid getting anything to go on your license. There's a lot of things that we can do to help people through this process. We do represent people on civil tickets as well as criminal tickets. So if you're worried about anything going on your record, a criminal conviction from criminal speeding or reckless driving, or just a civil ticket like a photo radar violation or something along those lines, before you decide to just go and pay it, give us a call, it's a free case evaluation. We'll tell you what we think the odds are of being able to do something for you. It is a bit of a fight in Arizona. It's not as simple as some other states where you just send in paperwork and it goes away. We actually have to request a civil hearing, actually go to court, the officer actually gets a subpoena. So it's a little bit more involved, but it's worth it. It's worth it. It can save you thousands of dollars over the course of three years if this is gonna stay on your motor vehicle record for 39 months and your insurance company is gonna jack your rates for three over three years, three years and three months, it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna cost you a lot more than it's gonna to cost to hire us to help you through it. So 
give us a call. It's a free case evaluation. We'll talk to you by phone or we'll have you come in the office and we'll see what we can do to help. We look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks for watching.